that your misfortune and none my own. I, I, oh, get along, you little dog. You know that the fairy will be your new home. And now for the thrilling Lightning Jim adventure, The Hornet's Nest. A stagecoach sent up a cloud of dust on the trail leading to the town of West. In the coach were two passengers, a man and a woman. Oh, this dust is terrible. Yeah, there ain't been much rain out this way. Here, miss, keep this handkerchief over your nose and mouth. Thanks. A few more miles and we'll be in Weston. Oh, it can't be too soon for me. I think I'd almost welcome a hold-up now. Well, there's been quite a few hold-ups on this trail lately. But I'm afraid we're getting too close to Weston to have one now. Whoa! Whoa! Hello, Rose. You asked for a hold-up and here it is. What'll they do? Just keep quiet and you'll be all right. Here they come. Whoa! Whoa! Keep your hands in the air, driver. Get his gun, boys, and drag down that Wells Fargo box. Come on, come on, driver. Take that box down. All right, folks, oh, keep your hands in the air and step out. Come on, boys. There, now, you two. Turn around and face the coach. Any cash, mister? Not much. Yeah, I reckon I'll be taking this wallet anyhow. Yeah. Got the box, boys? Yeah, yeah. Here come some letters down the trail, boys. Come on, boys. Let's oh, go. You folks stay right where you are and don't move till we get out of sight. Hurry oh, up, boys. Hey, that Hurry up. Getting close. All right, get up there, boys. Come on, get up. Well, that was short and sweet. Yes, and here comes another bunch of riders. More bandits? No, I don't think so. Looks like the sheriff's party. Oh, 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 o
And I reckon there won't be no question about who gets the $5,000 reward. The thrilling days of the Old West, when road agents, outlaws, and desperados roam the plains. Come back to you now in the exciting adventures of United States Master Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy Whitey Larson. It was a wild, free country where gunplay ruled the range. Assisting the troopers and local police officers to establish and maintain law and order were the fearless and courageous United States Marshals. After leaving the town of Weston, George Kennedy, the Wells Fargo inspector, traveled by train to Washington and returned immediately to Fort Anderson. He was talking to Lightning Jim Whipple and Whitey. What happened after the hold up, Mr. Kennedy? Rose and I went on into Weston and waited for the sheriff and his posse to come back. Yeah. A few hours later, they come riding into town with the dead body of a man tied on a horse. The sheriff said he and his men had cornered the bandit up in Bear Canyon. There's no such dead lead mask, fellas. The sheriff said it was. What proof did he have? The red mask was on the dead man. And the sheriff gave me back my wallet. The wallet the bandits had taken off of me when they held up the stage. Well, see, that looks like the right one, then. No, Whitey. I don't believe that dead man was the red mask outlaw. Yo, but he uh, Just dead. a minute, Whitey, and I'll tell you why. Now, in the first place, the dead man the sheriff brought in was a bit huskier than the chap who held up the stage. Hey, you know? And it seemed funny that the bandit would still be wearing his red mask at his hideout up in the canyon. That's right. Go on, Mr. Kennedy. Now, when the sheriff and his men came in after the holdup, I didn't say anything to him about losing my wallet. But when he brought in the body of the dead man, he turned the wallet over to me immediately. Was there anything in the wallet with your name on it? No, just little cash I was carrying. Yeah, that galley says sounds like some yeah. fish, all right. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's been a dozen holdups of Overland stages near Weston in the past six months. And each time the sheriff shows up with the body of a dead man. He always has witnesses to prove that the men were guilty. And he collected the rewards on each one of them? That's right. The sheriff has taken in $25,000 in reward money. Jim, give that horse and dollars. Huh? Well, Mr. Kennedy, from what you say, I take it you don't believe the sheriff at Weston's on the level. Right. In addition to being the sheriff, Ben Brown runs the Red Star Cafe and runs the whole town his way. He's got some of the toughest gunmen on the plains working for him. Uh, say, I think this looks like a good job for you. Yeah, be mighty interesting, but... Maybe we can't leave Fort Anderson right now. I've already taken care of that, Lightning. As a representative of the Wells Fargo Company, I went to Washington and got permission from the Attorney General to have you and Whitey work on this case. Now, here's a letter with full authority to act as you see fit. Well, how about it? <laughs> well, I don't have no choice, Mr. Kennedy. Whitey and me will start for Weston right away. Yeah, no, you're talking, Lightning. The sooner we get after them, you just get better. I'll go on ahead and be in Weston to help you if you need it. Yeah, well, see, like in Ho, you think you better work. Well, we ain't never worked in that country around Weston. I think it might be a good idea for us to wander in there as a couple of punchers looking for yeah, a job. Yeah, yeah, a good idea. We'll go under the names of Jim Jennings and Glenn Flint. Uh, yeah, and it's Flint, senor. And if you see you in town, Mr. Kennedy, we never met you before. I understand. Now, watch your step, boys. The town of Weston is a hornet's nest. Well, Mr. Kennedy, you just wait and see what happens when lightning strikes the hornet's nest. Looks like this is the Red Star Cafe. Yeah. Now remember, buddy, we're a couple of cow punchers looking for work. Hey, My sure. name's Jennings and yours is Swenson. Yeah, sure, Mr. Yandy. Come on, we'll go into the cafe and get the lay of the land. Senor, these horses belong to you? Yep. Ah, you want to sell him? Yeah, oh, yeah, it's for sale, mister. Ah, that's fine. Well, I'll sell you the horse. Jose would pay much money for such a fine horse. Here, Jose, give you two hundred dollars. No, you're wasting your time, mister. I make it three hundred, senor. I'm sorry, but I wouldn't sell him at any price. And for that, I do not blame you, senor. I am what you call your trader, and I know a good horse when I see him, <laughs> eh? <laughs> he is yes. a magnificent animal. But maybe you go in the Red Star Cafe and lose all your dinero, senor. Then perhaps you will sell him to Jose, eh? <laughs> yeah, maybe. He loves you, I don't like the look of that camera. What's the matter with him, Whitey? Well, I just don't know, but I, I just don't like him. Well, don't let him worry you. Let's see inside the cafe. Come on. Uh, 
Hey, uh, Sheriff. Uh, what do you want, Hank? Uh, let's go into your office. I got a little business I want to talk to you about. Uh, sure. What's on your mind, Hank? Uh, how about the reward for catching the red mess? It ain't come through yet, Hank. Them things take time, you know. How about the Cedarville stage? Yeah, we took it like we always do. And you wore the black hat and black cape? Sure. Uh, how much was in the bar? Fifteen hundred. Good. We caught up with the red mask, and now they'll be looking for the black right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty slick idea of yours, sir. Yeah. Oh, we hold up the stages and get what's in the Wells Fargo boxes. And we go out and pick up hombres to collect rewards on. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll be needing somebody to turn in as a black rider. Yeah, well, uh, where do you figure uh, we ought to pick him up? Don't worry, we'll get somebody when the time comes. Uh, by the way, Sheriff, uh, that new girl singer you took on is pretty slick. Yeah, <laughs> she came in on that stage from Frisco. Had a little talk with her and gave her a job singing in the cafe. Well, she sure got all the boys in town talking about her. Oh, right? She's bringing good business to the cafe. Yeah. Come on, let's go out. Sure. Come on, boys. <laughs> You will sing Spanish song for Jose, eh? Yeah? I don't sing Spanish song. Then, Jose, we will teach the beautiful senorita. You will sing for me, eh? Yeah? Hey, you, let go of my arm. <laughs> do not be afraid, senorita. I ain't afraid of you, mister, and I ain't singing no Spanish songs, neither. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, senor, I asked the beautiful senorita to sing for me. Is he bothering you, miss? He sure is. All right, mix her out. Ah, that is insult to Jose, I will show you. Caramba! Don't move, mister. I got you covered. Hey, who's this fellow here? Put that gun down, mister. I'm the sheriff here. All right, sheriff. What's the trouble? Well, sheriff, uh, this mix was annoying Rose. I told him to clear out, and he pulled a gun on me. This gent fired it and shot the gun right out of the mister's hand. Yeah, I've seen that part of it. Well, Hank, you're the deputy sheriff. Put that Mexican in jail where he belongs. Sure. Come on, you. Yeah, what do you mean? We ought to hang him. Hey, Bring him up. Bring him Not so fast, boys. I say he's going to jail. Yeah. Go on, Hank. Put him in the cell so we get time to figure out what we're going to do with him. All right, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your name, stranger? Jim Jennings. This is my partner, Swenson. Hey, what? He's seen the sheriff. What are you boys doing in West? Just moseyed in here looking for jobs. They're both handy with guns and some fun cattle. Know anybody that's looking for new hands? Well, can't say as I do right now, but... Let's go into the office and talk it over. Sure. Come on, Spencer. Yeah, oh, sure. Well, you're a nice place you got your chair. Yeah, yeah, it's the only cafe in town. Yeah. Yeah. Sit down, boys. Thanks. So you're looking for jobs, punching cattle, eh? That's right. And you know how to handle six shooters. <laughs> Yeah, I reckon we do. Well, I seen that gunplay you made against the Mexican. That was plenty good enough for me. Where was your working land? Circle T in Wyoming. Hmm. Westerning, too healthy a place for strangers. Well, we take our chances on that. Hey, sir. What's the matter, eh? The Mexican chief. What? Yeah, broke away from me right in front of the jail. Grabbed a horse and made his get away. Well, I just him down. Well, I tried to, but he got away just the same. On, on this dirty hide, get the boys and go after him. Pronto. Sure. Me and my partner will be glad to join up in the posse, Sheriff. No. You ain't going with our posse. Put him up, Kent. One move to slap leather and I'll drill you. Well, see, this was the hombre who shot the gun out of the mixer's hand. Yeah, I know. Hey, take these two jaspers over to jail and lock them up. <laughs> Well, what is the sheriff planning to do with Jim and Whitey? Does he suspect who they really are? You'll hear the answers in part two of the Lightning Jim adventure, which will follow immediately.
And now for part two of the Lightning Jim adventure, The Hornet's Nest. Frequent holdups of the Overland stagecoaches near the town of Weston brought George Kennedy, a Wells Fargo inspector, to Fort Anderson, where he outlined to Lightning Jim and Whitey his suspicions of Weston's sheriff, Ben Brown. The sheriff always captured the outlaws holding up the stages and collected large rewards. Lightning Jim and Whitey went to Weston disguised as cowpunchers and gave their names as Jim Jennings and Swen Swenson. They met the sheriff, who became suspicious of their story, and put them in jail. Well, like, you know, I think that Mr. Kennedy was right. Yeah? Yeah, he said that this town of Weston was the hornet's nest. It looks like we was the ones they got stung by Galley. Well, it ain't as bad as all that, Whitey. Oh, maybe not, but it's the same we are in Yale. If we don't get out there, we ain't going to find out what the sheriff is doing. Right. I knew the sheriff didn't believe our story. I wasn't surprised when he pulled the gun on us. Yo, but uh, what good is that going to do him to, to put us in jail? Well, if from what I've seen around here, most of these men are taking orders from the sheriff. He ain't taking no chances with strangers. Well, he didn't get away with... We didn't get away with fooling him, so... So I think we better tell him who we are. Yeah, if we do that, we'll spoil our chances of finding out what he's doing about these holdups. Well, if he finds out that we are United States Marshals... He won't do nothing until we get out there. That's why we got to lay low and wait for his next move. Hey. Hey. Hey, you fella. You open him. There's somebody's at the window. Shh. Here. I've got something for you. I can't. I did the singing girl from the cafe. What you want, miss? Take these guns. There's a note inside for you. Hey, hey you need them in. Quiet, buddy. Well, uh, what's Never mind that. She gave us two guns. Oh, and by God, we can use them. Wait. A piece of paper in the barrel of this one. Hey, what does this see like? Why do you want it some action? Hey, what, sure. Get ready. I've got a hunch we're going to get it mighty soon. Now, I'll tell you what we're going to do. <laughs> Sure, I can't figure out what you're going to give them to, Jasper. Uh, just a hunch, Hank. But I've got a feeling I've seen them someplace before. Yeah? The big fella's a smooth customer, and he handles a six-shooter right smart. You uh, reckon they might be law badges? No, no, but I'm aiming to find out. They said the last job was on the Circle T Ranch in Wyoming. That's near Benson. Sure. Uh, one of our boys worked for the Circle T. Oh. Well, Bill Slack. He was a Circle T horse wrangler. Hank, that's the best news I've had today. Get Bill in here right away. Well, he ain't in town. They went over to Cedarville. But he ought to be back tomorrow. Good. Then we'll hold these two hombres in jail and check up with Bill as soon as he gets back. It's Kennedy. Howdy, Sheriff. Hello, Hank. Well, howdy, Mr. Kennedy. Howdy. Busy, Sheriff? No. What's on your mind, Mr. Kennedy? Well, first I want to tell you, Sheriff, that I had word from the home office that the reward for the capture of the Red Mass has been approved. Money will come through in a couple of days. Well, that's mighty good news, Mr. Kennedy. I reckon I can use that cash, all right. Yeah. Now, the second thing I wanted to tell you, yes. the Overland stage is coming through here tonight with a gold shipment. And I thought you might post a few of your men on the trail between here and Cedarville. Sure, we'll take care of that. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, uh, by the way, have you had any clues on the black rider who robbed the stage last night? No, but if he shows up again, we'll be waiting for him this time. Well, I know I can count on you, Sheriff. But if these holdups don't stop, We'll have to take the Wells Fargo boxes off the stages and run the Western Trail. Well, we don't want to see you do that, Mr. Kennedy. Just give me time and I'll make this country mighty uncomfortable for outlaws. Are you staying in town long, Mr. Kennedy? Nope, I'm going to take the Overland stage uh, back tonight to Frisco. Uh, so you'll be riding on the stage with the gold, huh? That's right. Now i got to run along. 
See you gentlemen later. Well, goodbye, Mr. Kennedy. Well, Sheriff, looks like the Black Rider is due on the Western Trail tonight. Eh? Yeah. And the Black Rider is going to have two partners. Yeah? And them two partners is going to be dressed in the clothes of them two hombres I'm holding in jail. <laughs> sure, I get it. And if Mr. Kennedy's riding on that seat, he'll be able to identify him when we bring him in. Right. Come on, we'll get their clothes now. All we need is their shirts and vests. They already got their suit lines and gun belts. Yes, and uh, Zeke is built like the big fella, and Slim will pass for the Swede, all right. All right, you two. Take off your shirts and vests. Reach for the sky. Six million! You Jaspers, keep your hands up and don't move. Take the gun, Swenson. Here, oh, sure. Come yeah. on, give him all that. Yeah, there we are. I got them. Where'd you get them guns? I'm sorry, Sheriff, but I can't tell you that. Right now, we got some important business to attend to. What are you aiming to do to us? Just lock you up in this cell, Sheriff. You can't get away with this. Yeah, well, maybe not. But if you value your lives, you'll stay here peaceable. Come on, Swenson. Yeah, oh, sure. So long, Sheriff. I'll leave the keys on your desk. Hey, you aren't any varmints. I'll get you for this. Kennedy? How are you, Rose? Fine, and you? I'm leaving on the stage tonight. Me too, and I'll be glad to get out of here. I took care of everything. Fine. Well, howdy, Sheriff. Quiet, everybody. Oh, what's up, Sheriff? Them two hombres I was holding busted out of jail. Oh, 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 yes, sir. Well, say, how'd they do it, Sheriff? Well, somebody must have slipped guns to them through the jail window. They held me up and Hank and locked us in the, in the cell. And then Jake came in and let us out. Well, well, come on, what are we waiting for? Hey, where's Hank? He went out to pick that trail, and we're following right after him. Come on, boy. Well, what do you know about that? Hmm, looks like we've driven the hornets out of the nest. Ooh, thunder, boy. boy. Ooh, here they know. Everyone just stop here like this. Yeah, these trees will give us good cover, and we can watch the western trail for the overland stage. No, and you can see the trail from both directions. That's the idea. They say in the moot, they must in the gun. Where did the stay the hole that was going to be? Down yonder, near the bridge over Western Creek. Well, then all we got to do is see it there until the stage comes up. Right. Like, you think that the sheriff and that other, they, they, they will get out of here? Oh, sure. Let's see he's on the sheriff's desk and somebody's down to come in and set him free. No, but supposing they change their plans. Well, we can see when the coach leaves the western and watch it to the bridge. If they don't hold it up, then we'll follow after it along the trail. Well, what are we stopping here for, Sheriff? Uh, this is where we're meeting Hank. The stage is in Weston now, and we'll be pulling out pretty soon. Yeah, here they come now. Howdy, boy. Howdy, Hank. Well, who's that with you, Hank? Hey, got a little surprise for you, Sheriff. Yeah? yeah? On the way down here, me and the boys picked up a friend of yours. A friend of mine? Yeah. Copper and catfish, it's the Mexican. Mex well, what'd you, what'd you get him? Yeah, the kind of figures you'd be glad to see him, Sheriff. I sure am. Take him up to the ranch hideout and keep him there till after the holdup. Then bring him back to the jail. Sure. We'll be turning him in for the reward on the Black Rider. Well, Rose, this is the last leg of our trip. Think they'll go through with it? I've got an idea they will. There's a creek just ahead. Remember, keep low and out of sight. Oh, don't worry. I'm not aiming to finish up with a bullet through my head. There they are. There they are. Watch yourself. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, put him up, driver. Get down off that coat. Take his guns, boys, and get the box. Here come the sheriff and the posse. Let me do the talking, Rose. Didn't expect to see you here, Mr. Kennedy. Or 
about who was going out on the stage. I was, but the stage was held up at Weston Creek, and I come back. Uh, we seen the holdup, all right. We went after them critters. I told you we'd get the black rider if he showed up tonight. And here he is. We brung him in just like we did the red mask. Is he dead? Sure. We slapped leather and we let him have it. There he is with the black hat and cape. Mm. He's a black rider. Seems like I've seen that man's face before. Mm, of course you did. He's a Mexican I arrested in the cafe. Then he broke loose when Hank was taking him off to jail. I reckon he should be worth a good reward, Mr. Kennedy. Hey, here comes Hank. Yeah, who are them other two hombres? Oh, 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 boy. Oh, hey, oh. Yeah. Well, I'll be hanged. That's right, Sheriff. You'll be hanged. Reach for the sky. Get him, boys. Hold on, boys. One move from any of you, and I'll drill the chair. Hey, it's no use, mister. You won't get away with it. Not this time. We got you outnumbered, and you'd better give up now. Save your breath, Sheriff. You'll have plenty of time to talk in court. In court? Hey, who the deuce are you? I can answer that for you, Sheriff. The man holding that gun on you is the United States Marshal. No, Mr. Sheriff. This is Lightning Jim. Lightning Jim? Whose body is that tied on that horse? The sheriff says it's a black rider. The black rider? Well, was she a dusty Mexican that was in the cafe? And the sheriff was turning him in for the reward? That's right. Well, the sheriff looks like another murder added to your string. I don't know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, yes, you do. He and Whitey was waiting for you on the trail. He saw the hold up and caught your partner Hank. We got the gold it took from the stage, too. Good work, Lightning. Sheriff, you've been pulling these hold ups and then turning in the bodies of innocent men to collect the reward. You're under arrest for robbery and murder. Well, folks, the sheriff and his men are in the custody of the government, and our job's done. And a mighty good job, too, it was, Lightning. I knew that if anybody could get to the bottom of this mess, you were the man. Sure, but see, what I want to know is why did Rose come to the jail and give us them guns and give us the note they're telling about the holdup? I met Rose on the stage coming from Frisco. She was heading for Chicago, and I got her to stop off at Weston and take that job at the cafe so she could tip me off when the sheriff's planned. Oh, oh that's so that's right. it. <laughs> there was plenty of excitement, and it was an honor to be working with Lightning Jim. Well, thanks, ma'am, but if it hadn't have been for your help, why do you and me might still be in that jail, sister? Yo, and Mr. Kennedy, you said that this town of Weston was the hornet's nest. It was. Yo, and I told you what would happen when lightning struck the hornet's nest. And so ends another thrilling chapter in the lives of the United States Marshal Lightning, Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. Mm -hmm.